what's going on guys welcome back to another video on the channel hope y'all are having an amazing day today i'm actually gonna be showing you guys how to make the exact thumbnail that you guys see in the actual thumbnail for this video um but i'll be showing you guys how to add your own clan logo if you already have one or I'll be showing you guys how to add just the team name if you guys don't have a logo. I'll also be showing you guys how to make this in the new Pixlr. So I'm super excited to actually start making some tutorials like this for the new Pixlr software. But before we get too far in the video, if you guys haven't already left a like and subscribe to the channel, make sure to go ahead and do so. We are very, very close to 3K. And also, if we get a decent amount of likes and support and comments on this video, I'll go ahead and start making more tutorials like my older ones, but for the new Pixlr. So make sure to go ahead and show some support on this video if you guys like this type of content and want to see more. And I think that's about all. We'll go ahead and jump right in the video. All right, so just just like all my other tutorials, I will provide every image and effect that I have used in this tutorial and I will offer it in a Google Drive. So the Google Drive will be the first link in the top of the description if you guys want to download anything that I used in here. But first of all, we're going to go ahead and hit Advanced Pixlr E and then I'm actually doing a thumbnail. So I'm just going to hit Create New and I'm just going to go with 1280 by 720. Um, you guys can use 1920 by 1080, but I'm just going to use this one for simplicity purposes for a thumbnail. Um, so what we are going to do first here is if you guys go to that Google Drive and you find that background image, that's what we're actually just going to add first. So I'm going to hit add image as layer and I'm going to find that background image. So one of the first things I'm actually going to do with this background is I'm going to go to adjustment or actually I need to make sure I have it selected on that. And then I'm going to go to adjustment, brightness and contrast. And I'm going to add a little bit of contrast to this image just to give it a little bit of a deeper, a richer color, if that makes any sense. Um, and then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to work on that outer um, white edge that you guys see on the thumbnail. So this is the original thumbnail for you guys. As you guys can see, there's a white border around the outside. And then I also have the logo on the top. So we're going to go ahead and start with how to do that first. So basically, let me go out of this. We're going to make sure we have the this thing selected right here, the background layer. And then we're going to go to the lasso tool and we're going to go to the polygonal lasso tool right here in the top left. And then we're actually going to start about right here. And we're going to start right here and make sure you guys click every time. See, I clicked once and it created that little point. So we're going to click one more time right here. And we're going to go around the edge kind of like we would any other way. Um, I'm just going to do a normal one. But if you guys want to add any little marks or anything like that along the edge, you can. But I'm just going to do it very simple this time. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to create that little um, area on the, in the corner for the logo. Um, so we're going to go here. And then I'm actually gonna actually click right here. And now we're gonna go along the outside and kind of go around it. Clicking every time we wanna put a little bit of marker. And then we're gonna click back on the original point right here. And it's gonna create that edge in it actually. And what you guys can do from here is actually go to the brush tool right here. And then make sure you guys still have that layer selected. And if you guys click on this color thing right here, you guys can actually choose the color that you want your border to be. As you guys can see in the thumbnail, I chose white, but I would suggest you guys go with any color you want. Maybe if you guys have a different colored um, background, if you guys use a different background than I did, you could choose a different color, but I'm just gonna roll the white for now. And then the key thing with this guys is before you brush it, you're gonna click on this brush tool and you're gonna drag the softness down to zero. So it's actually not soft at all it doesn't have like it'll it'll just look like a regular like drawing if that makes any sense so have the softness to zero you guys can make the size a bit bigger and it'll help you out so i'm actually going to click out of that now that i have that set and now i'm just going to go over everything with the white and as you guys see it just fills in what you've already done which is really nice and we're just going to go through all of that there and boom so now we have everything selected and filled in with white we're going to go ahead and hit select and then deselect and as you guys can see we already have the border which actually looks really really nice so next up if we go back to the actual thumbnail we have open here as you guys can see in the thumbnail i actually added um, my logo to the bottom left corner kind of faded in and i'll show you guys how to do that as well if you have a logo and we're also going to add this logo in the corner as well so basically we're going to start with the logo in the corner so i'm going to hit layer add image as layer and i'm going to go and actually find um that logo all right so now we got that logo and again, make sure you, if you guys are using a logo, you have it as a .png file, otherwise it is not gonna be transparent. And make sure again to hold shift when you are dragging this image down so it does not mess up the shape at all. I almost messed it up myself. We're just gonna drag it small enough to kind of fit in that corner right there. Boom, so now we got our logo. All right, so now that we have that logo, we're actually gonna add the other logo. So I'm gonna hit add image as layer and I'm gonna find that same logo that I had before. And I'm gonna edit, retransform. And we're gonna make that a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna add it right about here. 
So now what we're going to do here is, as you guys can see, it's blended into the background a little bit. So to go ahead and do that, uh, make sure you have the bigger one selected, the one that's going to be in the corner. And you're going to click on those little three dots and you're going to go to blend mode. And I believe I use screen. Yes. So that's going to actually blend it into the background. And it's actually going to look really nice, in my opinion. Um, and we're just going to kind of leave it right in the corner so you guys can still see it. But it's kind of like see through, if that makes any sense. It looks really nice, in my opinion. So again, to do that, guys, you're going to click on the three arrow and then make sure the blend mode is on screen. So now that you guys have both of those worked out, we're going to go ahead and get into the actual PNG of the Fortnite character. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And I'm also going to show you guys how to do the other effects on the thumbnail as well. So again, the uh, Fortnite character is actually in the Google Drive if you guys want to get it. It is actually a 3D render of a Fortnite character. So I'm going to start doing these and offering these 3D renders of characters now because they look a lot, a lot nicer than just the normal like PNG that you guys find on the internet of the character so hopefully it's going to up the quality of you guys' thumbnails and up the quality of just any kind of design you guys make with fortnite characters so once you guys have it saved from the google drive you're going to hit layer and you're going to hit add image as layer and i'm going to go ahead and find that png that i saved which is an iconic skin render right here and i'm going to hold shift and drag it down just a tad and i'm going to have it right about right about here i think all right so the first thing that we're gonna do with this image now that i have it sized and in there kind of like in the spot that i want it in um we're gonna make sure we clicked on that layer right there we're gonna go to adjustment and we're gonna go to brightness and contrast and i'm gonna add a little bit of contrast to that that png so it just makes it look a little bit nicer so once we have the contrast adjusted how we want to make sure we have it how we uh, how we want it to look um now i'm gonna actually go ahead and add that like smoke effect behind it now i actually couldn't find the exact smoke effect that i used but i actually found a different one that also looks pretty nice as well so once you guys have that smoke effect saved from the google drive um what you guys can actually do is just hit layer add image as layer and find that smoke effect that you saved this is actually the one that i saved from there and what i'm going to do is drag this layer underneath the png so it looks like it's behind you know what i mean and actually what you guys can do is lock the layers that you guys aren't using so it doesn't move anything so once i click on this smoke it should be able to let me oh that's not the one i want to move i'm gonna lock that one as well and this is the one i wanted to move so i'm actually going to adjust the size of this just a little bit okay, something like this and then i'm gonna click out of that and then once I have this selected, I'm going to hit the three arrows right here. And I'm actually going to put this the blend mode on screen as well. So as you guys can see, the smoke now is a little bit of see-through. So now it's more like blended into the background, which in my opinion looks a lot, a lot nicer. So now you guys can go ahead and add your text. So actually the text that I used in the thumbnail, you guys obviously can download whatever fonts you use. If you guys download a font from defont.com, just hit add local font and find that file that you've downloaded. All right, so I don't have the exact font downloaded in Pixlr. I'm not really gonna go through the process right now, but the font that I used in the thumbnail is Burbank Big Condensed, and it's actually just the Fortnite font. If you guys can find the Fortnite font anywhere on the internet and download it, it's really, really easy. But we're just gonna go ahead and use this font for now because I don't know, I'm just gonna use it as an example. I forgot to download it um, on my free time. So we're gonna hit how to join or how to we're going to start with that and then we're going to drag that up here and i'm going to adjust the size a little bit so it's a little bit bigger i actually think this font looks pretty clean as well to be honest and we're just going to hit enter and then actually what we're going to do for this text layer is we're going to hit layer rasterize text element so now this this text layer is actually an image so i'm going to go to edit retransform and I'm going to transform it however I want, really. So we're going to put how to right here. And then we're going to go to the text layer again. And we're going to add another text layer. And we're going to put join. And then I'm going to go to layer, rasterize, text slash element. And I'm going to rasterize that one as well. And I'm going to go to the pointer tool, hit edit, retransform on this one. And then we're going to make this one a little bit bigger, I think. That's looking nice right there. And now you guys can pretty much go to that font tool. You guys can uh, add your team name if you want to. 
um to just pretty much how to join your team whatever it is for example mine would be team cloaks if i was really trying to make one for my own team if you guys want to find like fortnite images online and just add a little bit of like effects to the background like you want to add a few items maybe a gun or two you guys can go ahead and do that as well i think this is definitely just a very clean logo and with a 3d render of a fortnite image which is super easy if you guys have any questions about anything if something isn't working how i did it on here make sure to go ahead just leave a comment down in the comment section down below and i will do my best to answer all of them if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go ahead leave a like on the video make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel i really really appreciate it i will be live tuesday next so guys make sure you have notifications on so you guys know when i go live i appreciate you guys watching i will catch you guys in the next video peace